Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I never thought, as they urged that the workers at the Underworld Factory Revolt fans of Coronation Street expressed surprise, saying they never imagined seeing Evelyn Plummer employed by Underworld. But the beloved figure was just supporting Carla Connor. She hadn't overnight secured a position at the factory. After working for free on a large client that could help with some of their most recent financial difficulties, Carla lied to the staff, telling them she would be able to pay them by the end of the day because the bank had found funds stolen by Stephen Reed. Carla's problems persisted during Wednesday night's, November 8, trip to Weatherfield. However, before Stephen's death, Sarah Barlow had already told Carla that the nearly £250,000 he had stolen from the factory accounts was missing. Furthermore, Carla's deception was soon discovered, which prompted the workers to go on strike outside the workplace. When Peter, Carla's husband, attempted to calm down his neighbours after witnessing the disturbance, Seen Tully accused him of being responsible for Stephen's death, saying that he had mowed down Stephen while he was threatening Jenny Connor in the middle of the street. Peter then succeeded in persuading Evelyn, Roy Cropper, Nina Lucas, Simon Barlow, Sally Metcalf, Kirk Sutherland, and Izzy Armstrong to finish the work. However, he did ask Carla if it was now time to close the company and start anew. However, his wife gave him the hard no when he suggested that they travel to Malacca. Charlie DeMello, who is enjoying his next TV gig before his former co-star takes over, admits it has been torture. The actor is best known to ITV soap opera viewers for his portrayal of Imran Habib, which he played from 2017 until his departure last year. Charlie DeMello, a former cast member of Coronation Street, has revealed that speaking out about his upcoming TV role has been torture. The actor is best known to ITV soap opera viewers for his portrayal of Imran Habib, which aired from 2017 till his departure last year, 2022. He later had an appearance in Adrian Scarborough's adaptation of Alan Bennett's book, The Clothes They Stood Up In, but he will now be making a comeback to the tiny screen. In the most recent issue of Doctor Who magazine, four new actors for the 60th anniversary special of Doctor Who were revealed. Charlie's role as Charles Banerjee has been confirmed for The Giggle, the third of three Doctor Who 60th anniversary specials that air this month. David Tennant, who plays the Time Lord's previous companion Donna Noble, is returning to the role of the 14th Doctor, co-starring with comedian Catherine Tate. To commemorate the show's anniversary, they will feature in three special episodes that air every Saturday starting on November 25. The Star Beast is the first episode scheduled to air. On December 2 and December 9, respectively, Wild Blue Yonder and The Giggle will air after that. Charlie added, Keeping this quiet has been a minor torture. When he announced his involvement on X, the platform that was originally known as Twitter, extremely happy to be a part of this amazing machine. Regarding his participation in Corey's 2026 decade celebrations, he continued, saying, two legends of British television celebrate their 60th anniversaries. Even if it's a small feather in my cap, I will wear it with proudly. Regarding Charlie's signing, executive producer Phil Collinson reportedly remarked, we are thrilled to have Charlie join our team. I used to produce Coronation Street, and I've continued to watch it ever since. It's how we were able to see Millie Gibson. Charlie was instantly on my radar after the show, and we intervened to get him back on the show. You may have already caught a glimpse of him in the teaser, but I assure you that Charles Banerjee is on his way to becoming a terrifying character we've never seen on screen. As Phil previously stated, Millie, who departed the soap in September 2022, has been cast as the upcoming companion when Cutie Gatwa, star of Sex Education and Barbie, assumes the doctor's job over the holiday season. The 19-year-old, who previously played Kelly Nealan on Cory, will play Ruby Sunday in her first major role. I know it, they say, speculating on Paul Foreman's demise following a health clue. Earlier this year, 
the character received the heartbreaking news that he has motor neurone disease. Fans of Coronation Street believe they have discovered a clue regarding Paul Foreman's impending death. Earlier this year, the character received the heartbreaking news that he has motor neurone disease, a deadly condition that damages the brain and spinal cord and progresses quickly. Former builder Paul didn't realize anything was amiss until Carla Connor, who had been drugged with LSD by now-deceased serial killer Stephen Reed, unintentionally knocked him down in her underworld van. He only told his buddy and former roommate, Dee Dee Bailey, about the news, keeping it from his family and friends. Viewers of the ITV soap opera Corey watched Paul straining to swallow his drink on Wednesday night, which appeared to confirm the onset of his MND symptoms. However, he dismissed his coughing as the beverage going down the wrong hole. Fans worry that Paul's time may be more limited than they initially believed in light of the most recent development. But the heartbreaking news came crashing down on his sister Jenna Winter's wedding day. Billy Mayhew, Paul's partner, had discovered on his own that Paul had been pilfering cars to get out of debt, only to have his case dismissed because of Paul's terminal illness. Since then, fans have been following the poignant plot for months, and it has come to light that Paul will be spending his final Christmas this year. And in light of the most recent episodes in the soap opera, many fear that Paul would untimely pass away around the holidays. Paul's illness is getting worse, and it has been determined that this will be his final Christmas season. However, he will also have to deal with another disaster that has already begun to unfold on screen. This Christmas, the catastrophe arrives from Bernie and her historical involvement with Shelley's dubious online scamming, and it puts her in a massive amount of legal hot water, producer Ian MacLeod told the Manchester Evening News and other newspapers. To the extent that there is every likelihood that she's not going to be present for what will be Paul's last Christmas, Ayn joked. He also affirmed Linda Hancock's comeback as a plot point involving the remaining members of the Winter Brown family. Figure out who perishes in the horrific cafe explosion, but it's not Bobby. After a massive fire at Kathy Beale's cafe, viewers of EastEnders are wondering who will perish on the BBC soap opera, if anyone. However, Bobby Beale might not meet a tragic end. Viewers of the BBC soap opera EastEnders believe they have figured out a shocking character death, but Bobby Beale dies. Lives were at risk as the dramatic scenes in Kathy Beale's cafe erupted, when Rocky Cotton, Kathy's husband, and Peter Beale realized Bobby was stuck inside the burning structure, they hurried into it. All three of them were injured when the roof fell, and although Rocky appeared to be okay, Bobby and Peter were subsequently found to be in the intensive care unit. In addition, Peter was ventilated and in a horrible state. Kathy is unaware that her husband started the fire by exploiting the faulty electricity to give the impression that it was an accident. He chose to start the fire in the hopes of receiving the insurance money because he owes Nish Panasar a significant amount of money. But will one of Kathy's grandsons die as a result of his plan? Certainly, many viewers predict that a member of the Beale family will perish in the fire. Supporters are certain that there will be a twist that results in Bobby surviving and his brother Peter dying while attempting to save him. One fan posted on Twitter, saying, I'm terrified that Peter won't make it. I hope that doesn't come to pass. Lauren can't lose Peter too, she just lost Abby. One more person concurred. Peter is virtually dead on ventilation chai. Bobby is still unidentified. Rocky has serious blood on his hands. I will riot if Peter or Bobby die, another person declared. Meanwhile, a guest from a fourth watcher said, OMG Peter, dies or gets gravely hurt while frantically attempting to save Bobby. A fifth person commented, wait, all the spoilers say Cindy is heartbroken after the fire, what if Peter dies saving Bobby? Watchers will have to wait until next week to see if this happens and whether Rocky gets exposed. With her loved ones trapped inside, Kathy was forced to watch in horror as the fire department arrived to put out the blaze. Given that Kathy is a possible suspect in the death of an unidentified male character this Christmas, would she exact revenge once she finds out the truth?
Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.